Nick Penrake's Mud Boy is a short film about a young girl called Mina caught in the middle of her parents' abusive relationship and the absence of her missing younger brother. During one of her parents' arguments, she escapes to play in the back of her garden. However, she makes a chilling discovery. Innocently and unknowingly, she accidentally unearths her apparently missing brother's grave. Failing to accept that he is dead, Mina begins to imagine that he is, in fact, still alive, trying to get him to come inside and watch television. All of this finishes when a police officer arrives and begins talking to Mina, eventually with her also discovering the body. The reality is then discovered, as it is shown that the body of Mina's dead brother is still lying in the ditch. Circular Narrative This film plays with a circular narrative a lot, due to the way the younger brother is portrayed. At the start, it is established that Mina's brother is missing. Mina then goes on to discover that her brother was buried at the bottom of the garden and begins to imagine him still being alive. This effectively brings Mina's character round into a circular narrative as she herself has returned back to a point where she is basically with her brother. However, there is a more overall circular narrative branching over the film. As the film starts with the younger brother being missing, the brother then becomes found and becomes alive again only for him to be dead again in the conclusion of the film. Characters The main protagonist of the film is definitely Mina. Many of her emotions and feelings for her brother are subliminally shown through the dialogue she uses, and how she acts around her brother and the adults. The film definitely plays with the innocence of Mina, as she, throughout the film, doesn't seem to ever grasp how big of a deal this is. When she finds her brother, she doesn't scream and run like an adult might, but rather she pretends to play with him. This conveys her character not just as innocent but also caring as she looks after her brother, cleaning him up and inviting him inside. Perhaps the most developed antagonist of the film is Mina's dad. While it is never directly addressed, it is assumed that he may have been involved in the killing of Mina's brother through what is said at the start of the film. It's got absolutely nothing to do with me. Do you know what? You're lucky I put up with him. With any of them. The tone he uses, as well as how he curses while his daughter is nearby, shows that he is in fact the complete opposite of Mina, not caring for her or her mother, and definitely not her brother. Catalyst. A catalyst for Mudboy would have been the shovel Mina finds at the bottom of her garden. If the shovel hadn't been there, Mina wouldn't have tried to dig up the garden also meaning that she wouldn't have discovered her dead brother buried in the ground, resulting in the later events where she imagines herself playing with her brother not happening at all. Audience expectations. The audience's expectations are played with right from the start, because of the innocence of Mina being portrayed very clearly in the opening scenes through the way she acts out her parents' arguments with her toys. The audience certainly wouldn't expect her to be the one to discover the body, nor would the audience expect such a relaxed reaction to that discovery. Camera angles, shots and compositions. The film starts with an establishing shot of the shovel, with the house out of focus in the background. This illustrates an importance towards the shovel, planting the idea in the audience's head that it will become a significant part of the story. It is rather important to remember that the shovel is later established to be the catalyst for this film. A critical sequence of shots to draw attention to is when Mina is running away from her parents while they are arguing. The composition changes to be very fast-paced, featuring many shaky shots following Mina in order to highlight the panic of running away. After that sequence, the shot composition becomes a lot calmer and slower, in order to signify the peace Mina finds when running away from the fear her parents are creating. Mise en scene Mina's innocence is further highlighted through her clothing. She is wearing a light pink cardigan with a white skirt. This fits with what a stereotypical little girl might wear, therefore exaggerating her innocence and childlike nature. The dad character, however, is shown to be very different through what he is wearing. He wears a dirty grey vest, demonstrating that he doesn't particularly care for his appearance or hygiene. The bags under his eyes signify a lack of sleep, perhaps because of how he has had to deal with the guilt of being responsible for a broken family.